Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Um, I've got a question for the cameraman, so wait one second. Is this Lakes and Lakes? Just Lakes. Just Lakes. Just Hello, lakes. everyone in the Lakes. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm Phil Jones, and who are you? I am Tom Scott. And what does Tom Scott do here? I am a fellow of Good Self, doing our evaluations for the company here and in the Dale, so here, then, everywhere. All so time. you um, visit lots of our amazing clients and tell them or advise them on, on a strategy on how best to sell their home. Yeah, exactly. Great. Um, so we're going to talk about on this week's Ask AJ, uh, something very topical, um, I'm sure you've all seen it in the news um, over the last year or so, and that's interest rates. And um, there was an article actually I saw, Sam sent me over the weekend from, I think it was The Telegraph, which said, it was a picture of a couple who were looking for a house in Ambleside. And it said something like, lakes avoids market slump from interest rates, something like that. Um, and it was because this couple couldn't find a home they wanted. Oh. Um, which is really interesting because actually, I don't want to be a, a spoiler, but um, actually that's not, I, I, that's not what we're seeing. I, I don't think it has avoided the impact. So if you've been under a rock the last year, what's happened <laughs> is that um, during the pandemic, the government slashed rates down to 0.25, I think it went to, um, and then as uh, inflation rose and rose and rose, and they tried to stop the curb people spending any money, they, every six weeks when they sit down and discuss what's happening in the country, uh, the Bank of England have, every six, I think it's been every six weeks or something like that, have, have hit us with interest rate rises. And interest rate rises is the... Um, the base rate of which money, um, whether it, if it's in savings, should rise by. Obviously, banks have different rates. And um, if you have borrowed any money, so if you let um, borrow any money for a mortgage or anything like that, then um, if it's not in a fixed period, it would uh, you would owe that percentage rate rise. If that hopefully that makes sense and from a very basic point of view. So obviously, when it rises, people have to pay more money in general. Um, so, during this year, what uh, what was the initial impact when it, when it first started going up, let's say, um, 12 months ago? So, it took people by surprise, I think, with, sort of, yeah. with the budget and everything that really impacted people. And I think a lot of people were a lot more cautious, and one, but then once it settled down, people realised actually it's not as bad as you think, and that a lot of the doom and gloom that you read, actually when you really dig deep in it, it's just saying that it was, you know, it happened. But still, the market's in a good place. There's always talk about people, rapid decline, which didn't happen. It was the Kuateng um, Trucks calamity, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So Mini budget. October last year. Last yeah. Year. yeah. It was really, yeah. So it hit everybody, didn't it, I think? And that, but then, it, I'd say by sort of January, it was sort of calmed down. And, and we're seeing in the market that, you know, p people are trusting it still. And there's not that rapid decline. So when people are still looking, they're still can get a good play, a good deal as well. I think that's a good positive sign for the market rather than just sort of the predictions were not really correct, I would say. Yeah, um, so going back to last October, November, because um, initially we saw a hit, didn't we, where people thought, oh my goodness, what's happened here? Mm -hmm. And we were unsure on what would play out over the next six to eight weeks uh, going into Christmas time. And actually it came back nicely. W were you surprised that it came back so, so well? That, that time? It did, yeah, because yeah, I was being mortgage at the time. Right. And I, you know, had a deal and I'm like, what's oh, an extra £50? Pounds? I was like, you know what, I'm going to wait because I'm going to get a better deal. I would bite someone's hand off now who took that 50 quid because it went yeah. up by a quarter. And that was me, you know, really pulling. So it, it hit hard, but now probably be in a better, better position. But yeah, it was, a, it was a huge, huge hit. I think I was being mortgaging at some point, was it last year? Um, actually, on a, not on a house, on, my, on a different property. And um, I was in the same position where you think, we got a really good deal a few years ago, and then all of a sudden you're like, £200 a month more? It like, feels like you're paying for nothing, doesn't it? And mm -hmm. you, you hold off and you hold off, and then you eventually you've got no choice and you take it. And then now it would be £600 more, and all of a sudden you think you've got a good deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I do think, like, yeah, the deal I've got now is way better than if I was trying to buy yeah. something now. But I think it depends on what level you're at the market, so where, I, where I'm at, sort of first home, 
it, it hits it a bit more harder because then when you buy the next one you get more used to it and the next one yeah and the next one was yeah it was it was a hell of a shock yeah and i think age, age probably plays into it where if you look at historic um historic base rates five or six percent where it is now um isn't too high the difference is the affordability so, mm. so it used to be where um you know if houses were 100,000 and wages were 15,000 let's say and now it's wages are 25,000 but houses are 400,000 so it's a big differential and therefore the rates now although on paper is um I don't know what it is it's five and a half um, is it 5.25? Yeah. Um, that's probably equal to 13, 14, 15 percent in terms of affordability. So, um, but what we've seen over the year is every time, every time we get hit with negative news from, of a, a slightly unexpected rate rise, I'd say, um, for us and for the mortgage companies, the mortgage companies go right. Let's bunker down. Let's hit the market with a big rise of a two percent, let's say, and we get silence on the market for three or four weeks, and then slowly it becomes good again, and we get a, a really good week where we sell loads of homes, and then the Bank of England go, no, nope, they've sold too many homes. Let's hit them again, and then um, it's sort of every sort of maybe three rate rises um, that are slightly unexpected, or if it's a half a percent like it was um, a couple of times ago. That's when the mortgage companies react, and what they try and do is think, right, they've gone up this time, so they're probably going to go up next time and the time after. So let's just price it at this one here. So we've got this period to work with, and at the beginning it's dead because the, the, um, all the news is about how negative everything is and don't spend money, etc. And then people are like, well, actually, we just need to live our lives and spend money and mm -hmm. buy a house, and then uh, we get this period where. It, it, we gain momentum and it goes good and then bank and then go stop spending money and it goes again so we're sort of in that period now where the half a percent hit the market hard didn't it mm -hmm. we sort of, we went from 30 40 views a week to five overnight almost um and it was a little bit concerning and then slowly since then it's been growing um where at the moment we're, we're, we're on around 25 views a week and that's between the Half million a million mark is, is quite strong. We just sold one um, at home this morning at a great price, but over a million is still fairly quiet, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, I think it's sort of just it, that's not quite filtered through. To mm. that. But yeah, but even today, there's been so many calls coming for viewings, you know, we can't get people in until next week, right? So that's a really good sign. I think that's going to pick up. I think next week there'll be even more viewings, and that'll start hitting the, yeah. the higher end of the market as it goes. Yeah, so we have lots of amazing, beautiful million pound plus homes coming to market market and just less than and our advice really is to say look prepare now if you're on the market and not getting any viewings um and you want to try something different then now is the best time to take it off um because it's fairly quiet we're expecting a good september october november um even december is usually good for us so preparing everything now and putting your home in a position to be ready to, to either to go for us to go right the market's here let's go or to just predict that this wave of viewings will get to the million plus in September. September is always a, a, usually a good time. And trying to time it that way is the strategy we're suggesting. And, um, and hopefully the buyers go with it and, uh, and the market opens back. And the Bank of England go, that's enough. Because um, my opinion on the interest rates, if anyone is remotely interested, is that they went... They, they've gone too hard, too quickly, without trying to appreciate. Uh, these things take time to, to, to make a difference. And um, they've obviously wanted to hit targets very quickly and very sharply and get people to react. But had they just gone a bit slowly, it might have taken an extra six months for us to get back to where we need to be. But it wouldn't have had the ups and dramatic ups and downs that that cause other challenges within the economy that are probably unnecessary. So that is my um, if the Bank of England are watching and would like my opinion, that that is enough. Let's see how it plays out. Inflation has started come to come down. Just sit on sit there, sit on it. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Great, give them a call. I'll yeah. chat with them.
you can give her a call. I am very busy though, mm. with viewings and I was at Dean Disney World last week, you wouldn't be able to get me because my wife had me walking around every park for every second of the day, um, like a military operation. <laughs> but, so that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, if you'd like a chat about your home or, um, or you know someone who's thinking about selling, then you can give us a call. It's 015-394-8811. Um, you can chat to Tom or chat to me about your plans, about um, when we think is the best time to go to market, it might not be this year, it might be next year. Uh, we will give you our best and um, opinion to, to help you move on to your next step. And uh, that's it. You're off on holiday tomorrow. I am, yes, off to sunny France. It's 30 degrees there just now. Well, it's nice here today, but I hope to come back with a nice crack in town. We've been this for four days. It was 45 in Florida, so I can trump oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can trump you that. Although 45 isn't very nice, 30 is nice. 30 you can actually enjoy it. Yeah, more 45 you've got to hunt out um, aircon, <laughs> which is what we're doing. Have an amazing day and uh, we will see you on Ask AJ next Wednesday.